Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about Python and Java. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I have seen on the polls and the surveys that Python has passed Java in popularity on stack, in terms of Stack Overflow questions and in uh, GitHub uh, stars or relevancy or something like that. Should I switch and sh or should people now switch from focusing on Java as a career path over to Python? And the short answer is maybe, probably no because there is something lacking in this equation. So you will have heard me state on a few videos around things such as Vue as an example, that Vue is not as popular as say React or Angular, at least not at this point in time. Now, quite a lot of people like to send me statistics that show that, oh no, you know what, Vue is actually really, really spiraling, uh, getting up there and it's getting really popular and it has a lot of GitHub stars and so forth. And I agree, these, all these things are true. Vue is a very beloved language. Politically, it is probably quite a lot of people's favorites because it doesn't really have an association to the big mega corporations. Uh, it does have backing, of course. But the thing that I always argue against, and this is the thing that I think it's the same question you need to ask regarding Python beating Java in popularity is, and that is, why is it popular? In uh, what, what is the reason behind and what, what, what is the area of popularity? What are people actually using this thing for? That's the thing that makes all the difference. It doesn't matter if it's just popular. Who cares if it's popular if it's not popular for the right reason? if that makes sense. I mean, you can be famous for many reasons. Do you wanna be famous for your talent or do you wanna be famous because you killed a bunch of people? It's the same question. If you're just famous, that doesn't necessarily mean that that's a good thing. Some would call you notorious, but I don't think that Python, maybe Java is notorious, I don't know. But Python is popular for one specific reason, and that is computer science and machine learning. That is what Python right now is bringing to the table and why this is kind of skyrocketing the popularity of Python. Now, this is this is not something that I just kind of take. Like, uh, I mean, I'll read the service as well. well I, in, there was a survey released by Indeed this year, and it stated very clearly that Python has, in terms of job relevancy, passed Java not for software engineers, but for computer science and for machine learning, especially for machine learning. But that is, that's kind of the focus. So if you want to know if you're going to, if you should bet on Python as a career language, then you have to ask yourself, are you a person who is fairly, are you a computer scientist or are you a software engineer? Do you focus on machine learning or do you focus on application development? These are not the same thing. There are vastly, there's a vast difference between what a software engineer does and what a computer scientist or data analyst does. This is why Python is so powerful and useful for these sorts of people because it is very well designed for that sort of work. It is not necessarily as well designed for ap large scale application development. It'll, like I'm not going to say that that's the only thing because you can write good applications even without a type system, but even like the lack of a type system in Python and the fact that it's a scripting language bring, puts it in a, the same sort of problem area or problem space as languages such as PHP, Ruby, JavaScript, etc, etc. So these languages who aren't even competing with Java in terms of job relevancy, yeah, that should start to get you into the right mindset, I, I hope. You should start to realize that, well, maybe when people say that Python is more popular than Java, they don't mean for the same use case as Java, because that's sim that, that is the reality. Java is popular because it has an adoption for software engineers and an adoption in the enterprise for large scale application development. And if that's what you want to do, then Java is still the big kid on the block. The, the most people would say it's the first choice for this sort of development. Python, if you want to do computer science, machine learning, that sort of thing, then that's very clearly where you should be. But I don't want you to get stuck on this idea of 
popularity because popularity doesn't mean shit if it's not for the right reason. So what I want you to take away from this is that it is true, Python has passed Java in just flat popularity, but if you compare different categories, if you don't segregate for what reason they are popular, then it's very misleading. You might think that, yeah, Python is just gonna get you employed and it's going to get you a stable job, when the reality is that unless you find a job working in machine learning, which is a very niched thing these days, just because it's super popular doesn't mean that everybody's just hiring as many computer scientists as they are hiring software engineers. There is still a dominance in terms of um, employment options when it, if for software engineers. The, the, the software engineer is the person who is in the highest, highest demand just across the board. Computer science, less so, but the popularity is absolutely rising because more and more people are interested in learning about computer science and machine learning and so forth. And Python is probably the best option out there for that sort of work. But then you have to ask yourself, is that the thing that you want? Because Python is popular for a very specific reason and that doesn't mean that you're gonna just get a job and then your career is stable just because you pick Python. Java on the other hand is still sec a third in comparison to Python but for that exact reason because it is used so much in the industry and by so many companies that are hiring software engineers. So Python for computer science, Java for for software development. These are the things that they are popular for. Have a great day.